Magic TV is on the air. Day morning, WMJI 105.7, Flanagan and Webster are on the radio and TV. Watch us on Channel 61. Hi, Dad. I wish we could be there today for the 8th Annual Our Lady of the Wayside Starlight Humanitarian Award. This award honors your longtime commitment and dedication to the organization. The 450 residents located in 50 neighborhood homes within your community are indebted to you forever. And I wish we could be there to help you accept your first ever Humanitarian Award. Wow, what an honor. Congratulations to my father, John Lanigan. Um, today he's receiving the Humanitarian Award. Um, like many before him, um, you well know that he has helped raise millions of dollars for this organization, which has helped uh, many uh, underprivileged families and children. 2012 Starlight Guardian Humanitarian Award, and there you are, John. I tell you, it's a little scary, though, when your dog starts looking a little bit better than you, but... Hello, John. This is your old friend, Pat Daly. When I first came to Cleveland in the early 70s, you were the first media person I met, and today I salute your longevity in radio, and also thank you for your constant support of local talent. It was a Monday, November 29th, 1971, and uh, Don Imus had just left WGAR to become the morning man at WNBC in New York, and you came on as a new morning man. I was doing the all-night show. Hi, this is Rick Case. Hey, John, I know you're sick of hearing that, but you're the guy who got me doing that about 40 years ago. Congratulations on this award, John. What a great evening. I'm sure you're enjoying yourself. Sometimes I'd like to compare John Lanigan to Johnny Carson. They're both very entertaining. They're funny. They have longevity. And they take an awful lot of vacations. What's it like to work with John Lanigan? I'm not sure that I can say this. This is a family show here, folks. Uh, it has been 22 years of like working with your dad, but grumpier. Did you ever see The Muppet Show where the two old guys are bickering back and forth and harassing everybody else who comes in their way? That is working with John and Jimmy. How many people have worked with you and have gone on to have a career they can call a career? And many of us owe that all to you. And I do especially, and I always think about that when I think of you. I want to say congratulations to John Lanigan on this great award. John, let me just say this. Other than my dad, you had more effect on me and helped me more in my career than anybody. I owe you so much. I know I drove you crazy a lot. John, thank you for all the grandfatherly advice you've given me over the years. Telling me about morning radio that you'll get used to getting up early, but you'll always be tired. You've been right about that. You were born on a Tuesday. November 3rd, 1942, when the number one song in the country was White Christmas by Bing Crosby. What a song to have as your birthday song. Well, I know that the guy that you are. You're a good, good person and more than deserving of this humanitarian award for the great Our Lady of the Wayside. John, I'm going to embarrass you again. I love you. And then when you were celebrating your one-year anniversary at WGAR in 1972, the number one song in the country happened to be Chuck Berry and My ding -a ling Working with John is working with a legend. I honestly grew up watching him. He hears this all the time. I grew up watching him on the prize movie. So through the years, you've had a lot of great number one songs. I just want to let you know that you'll always be number one with me. Hey, John, congratulations. What a great day. I want to first congratulate you on the Humanitarian Award and say how well-deserved it is. John really helped out the restaurant uh, and restaurant people in Cleveland. I want to thank you, John, for all the great times that you've provided for the people of the city of Cleveland. You have been a champion to all the chefs, and as an ambassador, I just want to say thank you one more time and to keep up that great stuff and be the great humanitarian that you are. We, we just love you, John. We can't thank you enough. <laughs> love you, John. Hi, John. Just wanted to take a moment to congratulate you upon your acceptance of the 2012 Starlight Guardian Humanitarian Award for your work for the Our Lady of the Wayside program. It's an easy thing on my part. I get to go to a great party. They get money that helps raise a lot of funds 
for a lot of people who need a break. So it's like, I don't really deserve any great pat on the back for this. Congratulations, John. It's an honor well deserved. You do a lot of work. A lot of people really appreciate everything that you do for Our Lady of the Wayside, so thank you. John, you are a humanitarian. Congratulations on winning the award. Nice job. John, it's been a great 40 years. It's just beginning. We're going to have a lot more great times together. And again, congratulations on this fantastic award. And the passion you have for the causes you believe in is unparalleled. And I, I think this is so deserving. Again, well done, my friend. I salute you. But seriously, I learned so much. You are the best. Best ever. You know it and I know it. I just want to say congratulations. Love you. Best of luck. Well deserved. Almost 41 years of knowing you, and I wish you to rock on forever. Congratulations on this special award, and we all love you very, very much. Good job, Grandpa John. Congratulations, Grandpa. We love you. Congratulations on your, on your newly received award. Congratulations, John. We're very proud of you. We love, love you, Dad. You, Dad. Congratulations, Papa John. Congratulations, Papa John. So let's celebrate uh, John Lanigan tonight and let's remember the importance of the work of Our Lady of the Wayside as we salute uh, the winners of the Humanitarian Award. Your work with innumerable charities, especially Our Lady of the Wayside, has been an inspiration and an earmark in your career. So for all of those people you've helped through the years and you've touched with your good deeds, this is a big thank you. Back in the early 70s, I wrote a tribute song to Cleveland. In it, I mentioned your name and several other local luminaries. The chorus goes like this. If you like Irish whiskey and drinking Great Lakes beer, you ought to get your ass to Cleveland, Ohio. The best things in life are here. Yeah, you ought to get your ass to Cleveland, Ohio. The best things in life are here. And John, you're truly one of them. Congratulations and God bless.